Hello and welcome to the second and last video where I paint the heavy armored fighting suit Jerry from Nitto. In the previous video I built the kit up and in this video I will be painting it and weathering. The base coat is um, dark yellow. I spray painted it over the kit. And here I'm masking the underside of the body to spray paint, as you can see, uh, olive drab. So I get coverage on all the parts and I can start with brush painting because I don't have an airbrush. I didn't want the transition between the dark yellow and the olive draft to be so hard. So I'm brushing in with a very diluted olive drab to make the transition more organic. Brush painting, I don't know what it is some kind of light uh, with gunmetal. And some parts from which I presume they should be from metal. That's the fun part about these Machine Krieger kits. It's all fantasy and you can paint it the way you like and these come with some paint schemes you can use, but um, I like to make up my own. I'm doing a minor scratch build, two barrels on the top and the bottom of the backside, the engine part. Usually there is a bag on the backside on top of the vent from the engine. I, I did not find that logical because it's getting really dirty up there. So I put a barrel on top of it. There are a few wires which I'm placing here. They come with a kit. shields on, on the front of the leg, they don't come with the kit originally. Put the antennas in place, two in the back, pointing sideways and one uh, on the top. Um, uh, painting, um, this is a kind of a messy dot filter technique to break up the monotone color of the dark yellow. Just placing some different color oil, oil paints on the model and using uh, thinner to spread the colors out and to wipe away almost 90-95% of it, so a tiny bit of the color difference stays on the model. Mm -hmm. 
most of it I wipe away with uh, a brush and a cotton swab so it doesn't look like a clown anymore. Decals. I, for the first time, I tried to print my own decals. Here you can see one RSG. I sometimes use the name Rules Goods for stuff I make. And this is um, a logo for it. I used a clear decal film for inkjet printers from, what's the company named? Bare Metal Foil. It was a tryout. That as you can see here, they are very, very delicate. So the, the, the trick is, I found out, to place them on a wet surface and almost get them right immediately on the, on the right spot. Makes a big mess. Also, the coverage of the ink looks on paper really good, but on a model you can see it's a bit translucent. And if you look at it, and move it around and poke it with a uh, toothpick um, the, um, the ink uh, rubs off easily. This is a decal film which you have to uh, spray paint with a clear coat a few times so the ink won't bleed out if you dip it in water. It was a bit of an experiment. Also this square originally the jerry comes with a square, only it's uh, light blue uh, and I just tried to replicate it in, in a color that suits my color scheme better. Uh, and this one went on okay. So overall a nice touch. I will use it more often I think, um, but decals from a normal kit are especially Tamiya ones or, or these from um, I believe this one is from Wave Company, and another machining Krieger kit. And they work much better, they're much stiffer. Another try out on the, the homemade decal. I found this head shield really nice. Until I tried to remove the moisture. <laughs> really delicate stuff. So that was an experiment where I uh, learned a lot. And I think I will be trying it out on another model again. Maybe it gets better. I'm painting the wires in German grey, I think, to blend them a bit more in with my own color scheme. As you can see, I put on a lot more decals, which I didn't show. But I really like to put on decals to give the, the kit more realistic detail. And of course this machine had to get weathered, starting with chipping, first in a lighter uh, yellow color. And later on I will be filling these chips with a um, darker paint to simulate places where the paint completely chipped off.
this is also a great technique to blend in the decals like they also have chipped here i'm using a brush with the same lighter yellow to connect the um, spots i made with a sponge to make the surfaces where the paint chipped off in some areas bigger some places I use a dark brown paint to simulate where the paint completely chipped off so it looks like a kind of rust And to make some elements stand out a little bit more, I use a um, dark brown wash from uh, oil paint. Just my own mix, probably burnt sienna and black or dark umber, can't remember. And wash this all over the model, well not, not all over, but um, in certain spots where the, the dust and the grime uh, usually gathers and to highlight certain parts like this vent. This is a rust wash to give all the rust parts an extra color. First I'm covering the, those spots quite liberally. And afterwards I'm, when it, it dried up a little bit, I go back with a um, dampened brush with thinner, enamel thinner, to blend this color and mostly wipe it away because it's way too much. On some spots I will use a downward motion like the rust has streaked down with, with rain. This is the engine vent. Here I'm using also oil paint, but this time dry to replicate some soot from the engine vent and also on this barrel, which 
this should get really dirty. Removing the masking tape from the windows, hoping you could see the interior a little bit better, but unfortunately it still is really dark inside. And here's the finished result. I had a lot of fun with this kit. Although it was, it, the kit is 40 years old, it came together really good. Um, I, I like these kind of kits where you can, um, the, the color scheme you can make up yourself and uh, you can scratch build some extra stuff on it. I had a lot of fun painting it, trying out my own printed decals. Anyhow, I hope you liked it. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you in the next video. Bye. Doei.